The first enclosed breeding areas were created in the 1960s for practical and commercial reasons and provided an immediate control of productivity and reproduction. At that time, China had two to three million musk deer and the animal was not threatened. Today, since the population has decreased by 95%, these farms are the best guarantee of a long-term conservation program. Unfortunately, there are only four such farms in China. They breed 1,200 animals, of which about 350 are males that produce four to six kilograms of musk a year, or 15 to 20 grams per male. The annual musk consumption in China is about 1,500 kilograms, of which 75% is the result of poaching. The rest comes through legal hunting. A hundred farms like this one are needed to meet the demands of traditional Chinese medicine, the primary users of the product. Breeding musk deer is a complex enterprise. In the Sichuan province in southwestern China, the Qian Tin farm, the most modern and the most profitable, has mastered the difficulties. You know, after 40 years of experience, I realized that it was hard to nourish a musk deer, mainly because his nourishment is very complex. But what's more, we have trouble understanding his diet, and he's a fearful animal, almost impossible to get close to. In the wild, the musk deer grazes several hours a day. It can eat up to 130 different plants, grasses, leaves, or flowers. Here, the meticulous mixture of salads, starches, cereals, and lichens compensate for this variety. The quality of the musk depends on the animal's diet. The architecture of the site is also vital to the quality. The cellular concentric shape facilitates access for the animals. They take advantage of this direct opening onto the enclosure to perform some pretty spectacular leaps. This type of structure requires more vigilance and constant intervention since the animals are more vulnerable to disease while in captivity. For this one, it's dentist day. Raising musk deer necessitates strict hygiene and specialized personnel, including three veterinarians, three dietitians, and two auxiliary nurses to watch over the health of the 980 animals in the center. <laughs> 